Welcome back to learning to program using the Godot game programming engine. In this bonus video, we're going to take the car game and add a little bit better uh, car movement. So right now, if you play, it's pretty uh, pretty basic and it feels a little weird because the car can immediately, immediately turn around and um, uh, also stop on a dime and so on and so forth. So we're going to we're going to improve that a little bit. So we're going to jump into the script. Pretty much all the changes are going to happen here. We're going to add, we're going to make this max speed, and we're going to add a new one called acceleration. <clears throat> and I'm just guessing that these numbers we may need to adjust them in the future, but that's just how that goes. All right, so we're going to move this move and collide out, and we're going to use another variable called velocity. And the reason we're moving it out, and so I'm just going to set it to zero, zero, because the car will be stopped at the beginning. The reason I'm moving this out is because the real behavior we want is currently all all the movement happens when a player pushes the button. But we what we want to happen is we want the car to continue to move even outside the, the player hitting the button. So what we're doing is we're moving that vector from inside this function to outside this function so that it, it stays around throughout the game. All right, so what we're going to do is just apply changes to this velocity and then always move on that velocity. So I'm going to change that to just velocity times delta. Uh, and then what we need, so I'm going to scoop this up. And <clears throat> the rotation actually won't change for this, so we'll leave that alone. Uh, but the player go will. So I currently have this direction so I know which direction I want to apply the change to <clears throat> so what I can do is say velocity uh, plus equals which means I want to add to the velocity a new ve vector which is direction times acceleration so what that'll do is it'll take that unit vector pointed in the direction the car is facing and then multiply it by how fast we want to accelerate and that's my new uh, velocity um, adjustment. So let's try that and see what happens. So uh, right now it's going really fast and a couple things are happening. One, I'm kind of sticking to the walls and the reason is is I've got built up velocity because nothing's resetting my velocity anymore. So I've got built up velocity when I hit that wall I stay against the wall. So what I want to do what, this move and collide function returns um, a, the collision shape that you hit if it hits something. So what I can do is just say if you hit anything, so I can just put an if statement around it, then let's set the velocity to zero. So velocity equals vector uh, vector two and then zero comma zero. So that'll just set the velocity to zero if I hit anything. So let's try that again. So now when I hit the wall I can start driving again. So it looks much better now, but um, my max speed is obviously really fast because if I get a nice straightaway I go super fast. And uh, so let's max that out. So to max it out, the idea is I need to take that length of, uh, oh here's from another game, but we can use this little area right here. So what I need to do is take, so let's say this, ooh that's a bad color, this is the current vector, right? of my speed. And what I really want to do is cut it down to like right here. So, um, or max it right here so that it always stops at that point instead of going beyond that point. So what I can do is take the length, oops, the length of the vector and then get one of those unit vectors which is a short uh, single um, unit long and then multiply it by the maximum uh, and we did this before or we've done this in other games where we've um, uh, found the max or the minimum of two numbers and so what I'll do is I'll say if this number is too long then let's shorten it and use the shorter version and then I'll apply that back to the uh, the vector the velocity vector and I know that sounds really confusing but maybe it'll make more sense when we type it out here so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, I'm going to say, I have a new variable called speed, so this is how fast we're going, 
So I'm going to take that velocity vector and I'm going to get the length. So the length is how long that vector is. So let me undo some of this. So this right here, so I'm going to make, this is kind of where the vector starts. So this is the length, the total length right there. So I'm going to take that and um, then what I'm going to do is take the speed equals the minimum of speed or max speed. So what that'll do is it'll take, say max speed is right here, <clears throat> and so I found the length, uh, and so you could draw this as max speed, and this is the total speed up here. Right? Apologize for my horrible drawing. So this is the max. This is the total speed, and this is the uh, max speed. And I want to find the low, the lesser of the two. So in you know, once he's past this, it'll be this one. But as he's accelerating, it'll be this one. All right. So I'm going to find that, and then I want to apply that back to my velo uh, vector. So I don't want to change the direction he's moving. I just want to change the length of how long that is. So I can do that by taking the norm. Uh, I can say velocity equals velocity dot normal normalized, which will get a vector that's exactly one unit long. So it'll be like one unit long, but in the correct direction. And then <clears throat> I'm going to multiply it by my new speed, which is maxed out. So it'll be you know some number between here and here. So times um, speed. All right. So now, if I play this, notice my car drives much slower, even though I'm holding down the button. He doesn't doesn't drive any faster than that. So, and I can change that by boosting this up, my max speed here. Maybe get a little bit better number. Yeah, that moves a little bit faster, uh, but still doesn't go crazy. So, one thing that still remains is I can let go of the button and my car continues to move until he hits something. Also, I can rotate uh, I can rotate, and he continues to slide, which feels really unrealistic. So a quick way we can fix that, kind of a cheap way we can fix that, is what we're going to do is apply a, um, if you're not pushing the acceleration, we're going to slow down the car a little bit. So of course I would do that with an else statement. So if he's not going, then he's stopping, right? Or should be slowing down. But this is going to create an issue here with my speed. Um, I could just re redo all this, and that's probably the simplest way. So let's just do that. So let's bump this out. Now I'm going to have a conflict here. Uh, maybe I won't. So there's a thing called variable scoping. So because this variable is inside this else statement, it goes away as soon as the else statement sto stops. And that's why I'm not getting a red line here. So this is actually a different variable than this variable. Um, so anyways, uh, let's see. So I'm getting the length. And instead of finding the minimum, what I want to do is I want to slow it down. So. Uh, if you've watched the other series, the Adventure World, we used a LERP function, which stands for Linear Interpolation. And basically, if you look at this, it says, I want to go from here to here, and then here's how fast, uh, the weight of how fast I want to get there. So my from is speed, my to is zero, because I want the car to just eventually stop, and then my weight, we'll just have to guess, um, let's try point one. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to apply that back to my velocity uh, so that we can see that affect our car. So there, now when I let go of the button, he comes to a stop. Now he's stopping a little bit fast for my taste, so let's, uh, let's bump this up. So in this case, I want to slow down slower, so I need a smaller number. So let's try 0 0.5. Oop, too many periods. All right, so now he, s he slides and he stops on his own. So when I let go of the button, it stops on its own. Also, I notice when, when you're driving, you get kind of a cool, uh, this car's a little bit fast, but you get a cool little slide effect. You get a little drifting going on. Now, to add a proper drift so that uh, 
if you lowered this effect uh, even more, say 0.2, and then your car uh, maybe drifts too much. Actually, feels pretty good like this, but um, if if the car drifted too much and you wanted to tighten that up, what you would have to do is determine how fast the car was moving in a direction, uh, but then if he was turned, so if he was moving in this direction, but he was turned this direction, you would have to apply a heavier friction to his movement velocity based on the direction he was facing. So if you're driving forward, your car has very little friction, but if you're sliding sideways, those tires really grab, <clears throat> and so that causes a lot of friction, and so your car would slow down a lot quicker in this direction than it would in this direction. And that's that gets into some pretty... Uh, some pretty d tough math. You have to start looking at the uh, maybe the dot product or the angles and uh, the deltas and the angles and stuff like that. And so we'll just stop there because this feels pretty good and it feels a lot better than it did before. One other question I got was how to slow the car down. Um, of course, now we can just let go of the gas, but if we wanted to move in reverse, uh, we would need to do something else. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to need a couple more input maps. So I've got uh, go. But I don't have reverse, so let's do player one reverse and player two reverse. Remember, those have to be formatted correctly because we're going to um, be using the uh, excuse me, the um, we're going to build that string up. So uh, let's see, player one is using the arrow keys, so the down key is what I want, and player two is using WASD, so I want the S key. All right, so now I've got that, and now I want to create an input action for that. So let's go if input dot is action pressed, and player underscore str plus reverse. So that's what I named it there. So now this is this will happen when I press the reverse button for either player. So what I want to do is basically the reverse of this. Uh, so I'm going to subtract the the um, acceleration and so let's give that a shot and see what happens so now if I push the back button I can actually drive around the track in reverse and I still get all my sliding and everything and then if I go forward I go back the other way so there you go and if you wanted to um, most cars don't reverse as fast as they go forward so what you could do is actually multiply this by like 0.5 and that would just half the uh, the acceleration speed so if I go forward I go forward pretty fast but if I reverse I reverse slower I'm still hitting my max speed so what you may want to do is actually apply the max speed in reverse differently so you would need to move this block um, you still need it outside of this if statement but you could um, you could add the same block inside the reverse statement so let's we'll just copy and paste it there and move those over and uh, max speed, we could do half of the max speed. Um, so now I should be able to, so I can reverse and you see I'm moving, but I'm moving slowly. But now when I go forward, I can move faster. Um, that's probably actually more valuable than this acceleration change. And that would promote the players to drive forward instead of <laughs> uh, trying to race in reverse. All right, so um, one other thing is the turning. You can still turn on a dime. That would be s what you could do is you could make the turn speed be based on the velocity speed, like how fast the car was moving. The problem there is um, if you hit a wall like this, you would kind of be stuck. So we're just going to leave it like this for now. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this was useful. I know it was a little bit more advanced than the other videos. Uh, and I moved really fast, but I just wanted to show off how to get, get some of those more advanced um, movements in there if you were interested. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.